Hi, thank you for uh, joining me for another edition of the Miller Law Chronicle podcast. This podcast is one that's important to me. It's going to be my last podcast for 2023 and just an opportunity for me to show some gratitude to my clients, to my family, to my friends, and to those that work here at, at Miller Miller. We've had a really good 2023. We've helped a lot of people solve a lot of problems, and I'm really proud of what we've accomplished this year. And I just wanted to share a few personal thoughts on that. But I hope that you enjoy this podcast. And if you like the podcast that we've done in the past year, I'd really appreciate it if you would go to YouTube and subscribe or go to Apple Podcasts, go to Spotify, go to Google Podcasts and follow or like us. It's going to allow us to continue uh, to bring great content to you moving forward into 2024. Have a Merry Christmas and a very happy, healthy, prosperous, wonderful 2024. Thank you. Hi, this is attorney Jamie Miller of the Miller Law Chronicle podcast. It is December 2023, just a, a few days before Christmas. And this is going to be my last podcast for 2023. And I wanted to spend a few minutes reflecting on the past year, the past year of doing podcasts and of representing my great clients. As many of you know, Miller & Miller is a law firm that has a primary focus on bankruptcy, on dealing with consumer debt. But 2023 has also seen us expand into other areas, personal injury and um, immigration. And my real passion, I'm very passionate about personal injury and immigration, but my true passion really is in the the bankruptcy area and as i as i move forward and as we move forward into a new year of unknowns 2024 certainly is going to be an interesting year i'd like to reflect back on 2023 with gratitude gratitude to my family for putting up with me and my stress and anxiety and all the good and bad that we you know, we bring each other throughout the year. I am, I am blessed to have a wonderful wife, two wonderful kids. And in 2023, I was just really blessed with the addition of a grandson in August, which is just remarkable. Really just changed my life to have a grandson. And I'm so fortunate to only be 90 miles away and to spend great, great time with him and to watch him grow. And, you know, I have, have two, two great daughters and it's just interesting when you're, when you're raising your own kids, it just happens. But when you see your grandchild grow, it's an amazing opportunity to, to see the different milestones and to really notice the different milestones. Because when you're raising your own kids and you're with them 24-7, the, the milestones kind of occur on a different flow. But when you have a grandchild that you see once a week, twice a week, every other week, those, those changes just seem much, much, much bigger, much more important. So you know, the, when, when he starts to, you know, really just drink that bottle, open the eyes, hold his head up, starts to smile, all those wonderful things. For some reason, it just seems, it just seems a little bit different, but really grateful for the addition of my, of my grandson. And also, you know, my wife who supports me and everything that I do, all the crazy things that I do throughout the year. And I love her very much and very lucky. None of us would be anywhere without, without our families. I also want to reflect on my, my clients. Representing clients in bankruptcy 
is a gift. And I, I want to tell you why and why I love practicing bankruptcy so much. And I have so much gratitude for my clients. Our, our clients reach out to us during very challenging times. They come to us when their house is in foreclosure or they're about to lose their home tomorrow or the next day, or their car has been repossessed, or their wages are being garnished, or their bank accounts are being set aside. Our clients come to us often in times when things are really stressful. And when a client comes in or I have an opportunity to speak with a client over the phone about a given situation, the client is telling me their story. And in my mind, I am really reflecting and thinking about the options and the opportunities that I can present that client and will present to them once they're done telling me the narrative of their story. So someone will tell me, I lost my, you know, my Honda Accord. It was repossessed. I needed to get to work. If I can't work, I can't make money. I can't feed my family. We're going to be homeless. Very common situations that I hear. Or I'm going to lose my home to foreclosure. It was a house that, you know, I grew up in and I inherited from my, from my parents. And then I put a loan on it. You know, I, I hear all of the, the challenging life stories, but the gift that I have is the opportunity to give people hope and to give people results and to really change their lives. So if someone comes in, their house is being foreclosed or the car is being lost. I can give them a solution and deliver that solution with certainty. So if someone's car was repossessed, I can get that car back. If someone's house is in foreclosure is going to be lost tomorrow, I can stop that. If someone's wages are going to be garnished, we can file a bankruptcy to stop that. If someone's bank account was set aside, we can reverse that. So, and people don't know that when they first come to us. Now, this isn't magic. I'm only doing what the law allows us to do, but it is so rewarding to have someone come in and see the stress and anxiety on their face, and then to offer them the solution immediately that allows them to understand that their problem can be solved, that they can get their car back, that they can stop the foreclosure. We will be able to paint a picture that's gonna give them hope and give them a future. And although we are imparting that knowledge on the client and it's giving them relief, yes, we get paid for our services, but the gratitude that we get and that I get from the client in return, when they say, thank you for saving my house, thank you for getting my car back, that goes a long way, a really long way to give me my job satisfaction and gratification that I'm, I'm a lawyer, that I'm in a situation and I'm blessed to really be able to help people. I could do corporate law and there's nothing wrong with doing corporate law, but the ability to represent people. And I, I view myself as a, you know, as a street lawyer, right? I, I help people with their normal day-to-day -day life situations. And the opportunity to do that is, is a gift. So I have a lot of gratitude to my clients for having the trust in Miller and Miller and the trust in me to continue to come back year after year after year, but the trust in my staff and that my staff and I are able to operate under a set of core values that has really interested the public. And, you know, frankly, I'm very lucky and very happy that Miller and Miller has become in 2023, the number one bankruptcy filer in the state of Wisconsin. And 
not competitive. I, you know, being the number one bankruptcy filer in the state of Wisconsin is great, but it's not the end all be all. What, what that means to me is that we have a message that we're helping people that the word is getting out that people like what we're doing. They like the service, they like the respect. And it's nice. It's nice to see the, the flywheel kind of working that, you know, if we do a good job for client one, they're going to refer client two and three. And if we do a good job for client two and three, they're going to refer us four five and six and seven and so on. And it, it really gives me great pride and joy to know that we offered and helped offered a service and helped just a lot of people, a lot of people in 2023. So I thank you. Thank you to my clients for your trust. Thank you to our referral sources, other lawyers in the community, bankers, real estate agents. We have a whole series of people that we've developed trust in that refer clients to us. And I'm, I'm grateful to, to those people. I'm grateful to our staff. The great thing about representing clients that are having financial challenges is that we can find a solution. The challenging thing is that our clients are stressed and distressed, and they're in a situation where they may not have much hope. They are frustrated. They are scared. And we have a remarkable staff here at Miller and Miller that steps up, that always finds a way, that has compassion, that has empathy, that has patience, that can deal with clients that are young and old, educated and not educated, rich and poor, lots of assets or no assets. And it's really challenging to represent the spectrum of people, that spectrum of people, because everyone has to be treated a little bit differently. And I'm really proud and grateful to everybody here that works for Miller & Miller because they make a difference in people's lives every day. And I'm just really grateful that I have a great staff and an amazing team an amazing leadership team that really understands what we are trying, um, what we're trying to do. So as I reflect back on the year, just love to my family, love to our clients, love to those that work for us, love to my friends. And I have, I've had a, a blessing of great health this year. I wish everyone for great health in 2024, a prosperous new year, a healthy new year. And we look forward as we move forward into 2024, serving thousands of people in the state of Wisconsin, not because we, you know, are trying to slay dragons and, you know, win the filing, you know, the, the, the award of the greatest filer in Wisconsin. No. To me, it's all about helping people. The more people that we help, the better. And I really appreciate the opportunity to continue to do what I do. And I really look forward to doing it for many, many more years to come. Thank you.